Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to add Nintendo 64 games to your PlayStation Classic Edition. Now in order to do this, you need to have your PlayStation Classic already modded to have RetroArch on it. So I'll put a video right here on a step-by-step -step guide how to mod your PlayStation Classic Edition as well as I'll put a link down in the description below so you can follow that guide and mod your PlayStation Classic Edition. Alright, now that you have your PlayStation Classic modded, we can get to adding Nintendo 64 games to the system. So let's go! So first thing, turn on your modded PlayStation Classic and you will come up with the Project Eris boot menu. You'll have Project Eris in the middle, Emulation Station on the right, and on the far left you'll have RetroArch. So go into RetroArch. So now that you have the main menu open, you don't have to do anything at all in here. This is just opening so that it creates the folders required for the mod. So once that's done, just go all the way down to quit RetroArch and exit. Okay, so go back to your PC and you're going to go to this website here. I'll put a link in the description down below. But this is modmyclassics.com and we're going to grab the cores. So here you can see it's PlayStation Classic XZ and then allcores.zip. So go ahead and download allcores.zip. I've already got mine downloaded from previous mods. And you can see this is all of the cores you're going to need. So extract this to a folder you can easily find. And now let's go to that folder on the PC. So this is where I've got all of my cores. And we are going to transfer them over to your Sony flash drive. So go to Project Eris. And then you're going to go to OPT. RetroArch. Config. RetroArch again. And then you can see here is the cores folder. This is where we're going to put all of your cores. So open that up and copy all of the contents from your folder to your flash drive. And you can see I've already got mine in there, but go ahead and copy that over. Now it's time to put the ROMs on. So go to the folder that has your ROMs. Here's my N64 folder. And I've got a couple games downloaded here, some good ones. Now on the Sony flash drive, you're going to go to ROMs. And then you're going to find the N64 folder. And this is super easy. Literally just copy over all of these ROMs into this folder. And we're done. That's it. Now we can take our flash drive and put it into the PlayStation Classic. So here we are on the boot menu. Go to RetroArch. And then you're going to load cores. Now go ahead and find the N64 section. And you'll see here we've got uh, the Moopin 64 Plus. And this will load the cores. So now we're going to load the ROMs. So go to Load Content. And then go down to Media. This is on your flash drive. And we're going to go down to ROMs. Of course, we're going to find the N64 folder. Oh, just passed it. There we go. And you can see here are all our ROMs. So go ahead and choose a game. We're going to choose GoldenEye64 because that's an awesome game. And then choose the current core. And I'm going to skip past all this stuff because it's uh, boring and I want to just get into the game. There's a long intro to it. Alright, so in the menu here, it's pretty hard to control without the analog stick. So after this, I'm going to show you how to use the proper controller so that you can use an analog stick. And this will be easier to control, just like the N64 controller. Alright. Uh, loading the game. The game is not working. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on. There's a lot of blue. Uh, that's why it's not loading all of the textures. So there's definitely something clearly wrong here. So not only is there no analog stick, now we don't have any textures whatsoever. And there's no music. This, uh, yeah, I can't even control it. I just hit random buttons. So let's try and figure this out. So the first thing we're going to do is have a controller that has an analog stick on it so you can use a PS4 or a PS5 controller by plugging in the USB cable that it corresponds to which controller. So micro or USB-C. Here we're using a micro in a PS4 controller and just like that, as soon as you plug it in, it lights up, plug and play, ready to go. Alright, so let's go back into RetroArch on the PlayStation Classic and we're going to load a new game. So go to load content. Media, ROMs, and down to the N64 folder again, 
and let's choose something different like Star Fox 64 because this is a fantastic game and let's see how it runs choose movement 64 plus or any of the other cores you can try some different things like different cores with different ROMs and just experiment to see which one runs smoother but right now we've got Star Fox 64 loaded up and it sounds great and it looks great everything seems to be running perfectly fine okay so let's skip forward and get into more of the gameplay oh there we go now we've got some clipping with the sound hopefully that doesn't stick around okay now everything is running smoothly and the sound is running smoothly let's get into the gameplay loading up here all right things are looking good if you are a fan of the 64 and you've done this mod, I definitely recommend getting Star Fox 64 if you haven't played it, or if you have played it, this is definitely a classic. Alright, so let's just skip right to the gameplay so we can see how smooth this runs. I see him up ahead. Let's rock and roll. Alright, controls feel good, sounds good, we got great gameplay footage the video is running smooth all right so there you go the n64 on your playstation classic hopefully this video will help you mod yours and have your n64 games playing smoothly if you have any questions leave a comment down below and i will try to answer them the best i can when i can and if you want me to make more modding videos give this video a like and subscribe thanks for checking it out and happy modding bye we're entering for an area of now.